What's up, Clown Gamers? Welcome to another news week, as this has been one of the more interesting weeks we've ever had all around the cloud gaming world, starting with Fortnite declaring war on Apple and Google. And what does that mean for cloud gaming? We're going to go ahead and talk about that. Stadia's week in the news has been relatively quiet. xCloud launched its beta, and GeForce now launches a six-month founders package, and it's an awesome deal. So with all that news, jump to the channel for weekly updates updates on cloud gaming news this is your channel go ahead hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button as it's a great way to support the channel but all right let's go ahead and start with the news here with fortnite declaring war on apple and google and by now i'm sure most of you have heard this news this started with fortnite offering ways to make purchases outside of the apple store at a discount then apple kicking fortnite off devices due to those actions Thus, Epic Games, anticipating all of this retaliation, was ready to sue Apple. They even launched a warlike propaganda ad declaring war on them. And all of this played out with Epic knowing what was going to happen. But essentially, this dispute is over that 30% cut that Apple takes, and Fortnite feeling that this is too high. Then, Q hours later, and the news of Fortnite suing Apple, Google went ahead and did the same thing for the exact same reasons and kicked Fortnite off. Now, if you don't know the extensive history on here, I won't go over it, but it, it is something that dates back years now, and I'll have links down below, as this is not something that was just sudden. This has been years in the making. But what does this all mean for cloud gaming? And that is the real question of this video. And the truth is it has big ramifications to watch for. Currently, Xbox is already circumventing ways of people buying DLC off their app with the Xbox Game Pass and not letting people make purchases, thus not wanting to pay 30% cut to Google, which in then turn affects xCloud. And you can continue to expect to see this happen. Stadia, ironically owned by Google, isn't able to be on Apple devices because in my opinion, Apple knows Stadia won't let purchases happen via their Apple Store, so they just don't allow a service like Stadia on there. This 30% fee is really hindering the whole process of allowing this free reign of gaming to be unimpeded across the mobile landscape, and it's really, really bad for all of us consumers all around. This will be a close one to watch as time goes on, because if somehow Fortnite is able to be back on these storefronts at a possibly reduced fee or any form of a compromise, we could see a change, a big changes with a lot of things, but I really wouldn't hold my breath for a while on this, and it will be interesting to see. And the last thing to note here for those that are wondering, will Fortnite now be hindered on making its way onto Stadia? And to that I say this. This particular issue doesn't exactly help, and Todd Sweeney isn't a fan of Google as I've reported the last six months in several instances, but if money can be made, you will see Fortnite on Stadia. Time will tell though how all of this shakes out, but I'll be watching it pretty closely, I'll be reporting on it, and exactly what impact it's going to make within the cloud gaming world is really that's the thing to really watch for. This has been insane news, we'll see what happens. It's a bit of a bummer though for all of us, let's see what happens though, I'll be keeping you guys updated. Alright, let's move on to the rest of the cloud gaming news, and GeForce Now has had another excellent week releasing more games, and the list here is solid once again, but GeForce Now wasn't done with just that. Earlier in the week, they announced a six-month founders package tied with Hyperscape goodies. Now, the six-month package features six months of GeForce Now at $24.95, which is about a $5 savings and one frame month, but also included is Hyperscape goodies like exclusive skins and a season one battle pass now this was awesome news all around and if you're a geforce now founder i would highly encourage picking up this package as you save yourself five dollars but even if you don't play hyperscape you're still saving money in the long run but if you do this was even more of a deal including a sweet exclusive skin that had people staring at me when i was using it day one so this was pretty surprising news 
but I loved it, and I love seeing GeForce Now do this, as I could tell it was the envy of other cloud services. But GeForce Now wasn't done this week, as they listed quite a few games added to the service outside of Hyperscape, with Company of Crime, Remnant from the Ashes, Ageless, Neon Abyss, Anno 2205, Granado, and a personal favorite of mine, South Park The Fractured But Whole, Storied of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town, The Escapist, Warface, and a Making a Return 2 Point Hospital returns to GeForce. Now, one thing that I do want to point out here, though, is that Remnant from the Ashes is free on the Epic's Game Store until the 19th of August. So you can use GeForce Now for free with the one hour time slot, and you could potentially play an extremely high quality game and do it free over the cloud. You can do it over with your phones or your tablets or your computer. So I would highly encourage you guys to check out Remnant from the Ashes for free on the Epic Game Store. Claim it. I think you guys will enjoy this title as it has thousands of positive reviews and it looks like an excellent game all around and one that I think I would enjoy myself so I'll be taking my own advice and jumping into this one soon. And all of this is 100% free which is really insane. Kudos all around to the GeForce Now team, to the GeForce Now news. And I love having all this positive information to relay to you guys on a weekly basis, so good stuff. Now xCloud this week has launched its beta before its official release in less than a month here and I did a full preview of the service in a video so if you haven't checked out my first impressions of it, they were mostly positive. But I do have some hiccups here and there, and it doesn't always run as smooth as I would like. But with its release set to come soon, it's prepping and gearing up its service and I am for one very excited to see the rest of the game's lineup. Because even with the 30 games that are here, they are pretty good and they're worth checking out. There's some notable titles like Sea of Thieves, Gears 5, and my personal favorite State of Decay 2, and a bunch of other excellent titles. If you download the Xbox Game Pass on your Android phone and you sign up for that $14.99, you'll have access to it. Or if you're a new user and you pay just the $1 for the first month trial, you can see this beta preview of xCloud now and enjoy some of these games at your fingertips. I highly encourage you guys to do so. Check out xCloud, find out if it's for you, see if it runs good, see if you enjoy the games. I'll be doing a full review of the service when it comes out on the 15th, so be sure to be subscribed to the channel to see xCloud and see how it looks on that day. Alright, and jumping into the last piece of cloud gaming news for the week, Stadia probably had its slowest week that I think it's had since its launch, as there really wasn't a lot to talk about and there wasn't anything really concrete. Rock of Ages 3 release for all pro members, claim that one if you haven't. Stadia has a deal right now where you can purchase the Claw and Stadia controller. You get a $10 coupon if you purchase both together. Super Hot Mind Control Delete is slated now to launch on August 18th. This was announced via Twitter, which is good news since not a lot of titles are coming for Stadia this month. Though it's unclear if pro members will receive this free like so many others have for purchasing the original Super Hot. I will keep you guys updated when we find this out for sure. With that said, there was no news this past week of Shadow or other cloud services, but like always, I'll keep you guys updated when I do hear more information around the horn in regards to all things cloud gaming related. With that said, let me know your thoughts on what ramifications you think the Fortnite fiasco could potentially mean for cloud gaming or any of the GeForce Now news. XCloud or Stadia News as I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Subscribe for your weekly cloud gaming news roundup, hit that like button, and as always, I'm Sunny and I'll see you guys in the cloud.